hold on. Uh, oh what? I forgot my honours. Hi beam. Where's my horn? Oh, but it says horn. So let's go. So hello campers, welcome back to the channel, you know what, this is the first I've been out in three weeks, moved house and everything that goes with that, priorities come before the toys unfortunately, but I just had to get out tonight, I've got so much more to be doing in the house, so much more to be doing in the garden, but you know what, I've been a right crab at Bastard the last couple of weeks. Really, really. And I think I just need some bike therapy. Gets to that stage when she says, just go on your bike. Come back with a smile on your face. So that's what I'm doing. And I need to calm down a wee bit because I've been going a bit too mental. Right tonight, I'm heading to Muirkirk. I took a nice wee back road just to kind of blow the cobwebs away a bit. Muirkirk is a wee town in East Ayrshire on the way south. You would think it would be South Ayrshire, but no, it's East Ayrshire. But this just happens to be the road that you would go south in a lot of cases and for anybody that lives in this area they all know this the Muircourt Road they all they all know it well and they all ramble on about how good it is and it's it's got some good bits it's got some bad bits as a fellow motor vlogger John Diehard McLean who was on this road just maybe a week or two ago and he hit a sheep, he hit a sheep. he was on his wee 125 and he just went up the ass of a sheep he managed to keep it upright I think he just gave it a nice wee jolt at the road yep, that was him so that's the road we're taking and I'm hoping there'll be any sheep on it tonight this was the road I did my very first motor vlog on and I think I got about five minutes into the ride on the actual road and I got a bug right in the middle of the lens, right in the middle. Actually, in saying that, I did the route four or five days earlier 
and I get back home to check the footage. No bugs that time. I had no audio. I had no in the audio. Jeez. So I did it a second time and I thought, I know my audio's working, everything's gonna be good. And I had a bug right in the middle of the camera like for three quarters of that, three quarters of the road. Oh god, I was raging. Absolutely livid so I was. So I'm hoping I can do this do this road tonight with no bugs. I think if I'd if I'd been out I would have done some nice wee roads I'd never been on before, but because I know this road, I just wanted to hit it and just get out for a wee hour and a bit, get back home again. So hope you're all keeping well, getting your jabs. God, I'm gonna do my set one soon. And then I'll be invincible. What's that in there? East Ayrshire Council. I'd love to speak Gaelic. It's not like, like French and German, you can kind of blag your way through the words. But things like, like Welsh and Gaelic, you can't, because <laughs> you just don't have a scooby where to start when you see the words. You see the word and you're like, holy shit, how do I pronounce that? Never taught it. But in saying that, the girls are going to a school that's uh, now had a new Gaelic school built onto the side of it. So maybe they'll teach me a wee bit of Gaelic if they get taught it. And they might get taught Gaelic instead of French, who knows? Uh, we update on the VFR. The seats away to Saddlecraft to get recovered. I'm a wee bit worried though because it was booked in for this week. I'm only on Thursday and he still no contacted me about the design. I uh, phoned him on Monday and I said, here's the design. No bother, I'll give you a buzz when I'm ready. I was expecting to have it maybe back. You know, I thought it'd be booked in for Monday, but it's obviously just booked in for the week of Monday. And then we'll see when we're going to get it back. But the VFR's sitting there, not getting used at the moment. And I need to check out the voltage that's going to the battery from the regulator rectifier again. I did check it and um, I thought it was fine at 14 volts, but I've been told, nope, it has to be 14.3 volts. I was like, oh shit, maybe I've just done it wrong. So I need to check it again. And then if it's 14 volts, I think what I need to do is, rather than changing it, I need to just um, simply cut out a lot of the jargon of where it goes to and just rig it straight to the battery cut it away from the starter solenoid or that carry on and just um, rig it straight onto the battery and that will seemingly bring my voltage back up it's um, to do with the connectors they just gradually kind of rot and stuff and not very good and a wee left turn here to Straven Dark, come on, stay good, stay good. Oofed. Somebody's been swapping the hash. Okay, that's us. We are on the road, this is it. And it's just joy, it goes on for about maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Just bend after bend, and there's no one bit of the road that's the same. It's just a joy, this road.
How good was that? <clears throat> I'd love to do that more often, get good at it. See how we time trial on it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Next wee bit of road's actually quite nice, but um, I think I've maybe showed you enough for today. I'll keep the cameras rolling, you can have a look and keep following if you want, but I'm going to say my goodbyes. First of all, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a wee thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. It's your prerogative to do what you want, isn't it? If you've not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. And hit that wee notification bell and you'll get some... You'll get a wee notification, funnily enough, <laughs> telling you um, next time I'm posting a video. I tend not to do this very often, this whole try to sell the channel thing. And... Um, I'll just do it once every so often, I think. Why not? Just do it. So take care. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. See ya.